In this video, we will discuss ejection click, mid systolic click, opening snap, and pericardial knock. We will discuss their features, differences, similarities, and causes of their appearance. So, of these four sounds, which of them are systolic and which of them are diastolic? The ejection click sound is systolic, and also the mid systolic click is systolic sound, whereas opening snap and pericardial knock are the diastolic sounds. So let's discuss the ejection click. So ejection click is a systolic sound. It's a sharp high pitched sound that occurs after the first heart sound and it arises from the movement of the valve cusps and coincides with the carotid upper stroke, which conditions ejection click occurs. Aortic and pulmonary dilatation and these valve stenosis the semilunar valve stenosis and it also occurs in congenital bicuspid aortic valve. So why ejection click occurs in congenital bicuspid aortic valve? Because in congenital bicuspid valves one cusp is longer and the other cusp which is shorter is an incompetent valve cusp. Number second point for the ejection click is that there is no change in the intensity in ejection click with change in posture. Intensity of the sound changes in mid systolic click with change in posture. Now let's discuss the mid systolic click is a systolic sound. It occurs with or without late systolic murmur and there is a murmur that follows with the mid systolic click. It occurs in mitral valve leaflet prolapse due to unequal length of caudate tendony and is heard best at left lower external border and the apex beat area. What's the relation of mid systolic click with posture? Intensity of the sound changes in mid systolic click with change in posture. With sudden standing mid systolic click becomes early systolic and with sudden squatting the mid systolic click becomes late systolic. Now the diastolic sound. First sound is the opening snap. Opening snap is a brief high pitched early diastolic sound that follows the second heart sound. It's heard best at the left lower external border and it radiates to the base of the heart. Most common cause of the opening snap is an AV valve stenosis, mostly the mitral valve. What's the cause of opening snap? Opening snap is due to sudden tensing of the caudae and stenotic leaflet on valve opening. More severe the mitral stenosis, shorter the second heart sound and opening snap interval. Opening snap disappears in mitral stenosis if the valve is calcified and immobile. Another condition that mimic opening snap is a left atrial myxoma may also produce a sound like opening snap but that sound is low pitched whereas opening snap sound is high pitched. Next diastolic sound is pericardial knock that comes with S3. The difference between the third heart sound and the pericardial knock is that the third heart sound is low pitched whereas the pericardial knock is high pitched. Why does it occur? It's due to sudden stoppage of diastolic filling because of pericardial additions in pericarditis. Pericardial knock occurs in chronic pericarditis.